wouldn't it be great if you could shoot high definition on a mini DV camcorder? Suppose you could do that. You would have HDV. JVC came out first with 720 Progressive. That's called HD1. And then Sony came out with 1080 Interlaced, HD2. Do we have another VHS beta controversy here? Could be. If you've been working with DV and you're going to move up to HDV, there's a couple of things you need to know. You've been working with NTSC video of 720 by 480 or PAL video 720 by 576. HDV in the Sony spec is 1920 by 1080. This means a couple of things. You're going to need an HD display of 1920 by 1080 resolution. If you don't have such a display, you will not be viewing your HDV at full resolution. Any monitor can display HDV. It will scale it down to whatever resolution is available. You will not be seeing the full HDV image, so you won't know exactly what you're seeing unless you have the proper display. You can output your HDV through your camcorder to an HD TV for display, but just check the specs of the TV because not all the TVs today that say they're HD are actually at the 1920 by 1080 resolution. In addition, you're going to need a lot more hard drive space than you did before. Just do the math, you'll see you're going to need quite a bit more. I would suggest RAID 0 SATA drives, 7200 RPM is just fine. Anything slower is too slow. Anything faster generally runs too hot. The 10,000 and 15,000 in the appropriate environment are okay. In most studios, you're better off with the 7200. In Vegas, working with HDV is as easy as 1, 2, 3. You capture your HDV clips the same way you capture DV. The only difference is the end result is a file with an M2T extension. This is an MPEG-2 transport stream. This file is your HDV source file. You can drag and drop an M2T file directly onto the timeline. You can play it back and you can even edit it. However, after making a few edits, you'll find that performance will seriously degrade. So, what do you do? The second step is to create what's called intermediate files, which are files that your computer will be able to more easily handle for editing. Edit in the intermediate. When you've finished editing, you'll replace your intermediates with HDV source for delivery. Capture your HDV clips. Your M2T file is your HDV source. Create and edit intermediate files, and then replace those intermediate files with your HDV source for delivery. That's the HDV workflow. I don't yet have an HDV camcorder, so I've borrowed this footage from Michael Bryant at Sony. Thanks, Michael. This is an M2T file. If we have any doubt, we can look in the properties. Well, it cuts off the T here, but it is an M2T file. 1440 by 1080 by 32. You say, why is it 1440? Well, that's the HDV spec. The actual image is 1440 by 1080, and it is stretched to 1920 at playback time. We can play this back, but the performance will degrade. So what we're going to do is create an intermediate. File, render as. In order to choose the correct intermediate format, you need to know what the final delivery format is going to be. If you're going to be delivering to HD cam or to digital beta cam or XD cam, use the Sony YUV templates. If you're going to be delivering a 24P DVD, 
use the NTSC DV widescreen 24P template. If you're going to be delivering to Windows Media HD, use one of these guys.